Hey what is up guys, this is the wall known for all, welcome back here to my youtube channel and in today's video I'm gonna show you guys on how to speed up your internet on any kind of windows computer. Please do take note that this does not work on, well this will not work for everyone just because it will still depend on your internet service provider or your ISP. We are just gonna change a few of the settings on our windows computer just so to make the internet more smoother on your PC okay so first of all we're just going to check on how fast my internet is to do that we're going to go to speedtest.net just so to check and please do take note on how fast your internet there just so to see if this video works As I said earlier, please do take note that this will not work for everyone, but currently this worked for me, so I'm just sharing this to you guys. Okay, we have 26 ping, and um, a bit of stable internet, <laughs> around 4 megabytes per second for our download speed. No, it's 3 megabytes per second for our average. So now we are just testing our internet speed. Now I'm taking note of this. And we have 3.97 megabytes and 1.77. So I'll, I'll just take note of that. So remember this, well it's not really necessary just for you guys to know how fast your internet right now. Now here is the step on how to speed it up. So first of all, open up command prompt as administrator. Just go to your start menu and just type in cmd and type in ipconfig slash flash dns click on enter and now we are just going to change a few of the settings so type in netch int tcp show global and it will currently show a few of the global parameters that our PC has. And by the way guys, all of these commands will be down there in the description below. Now type in netch int tcp set global sorry set global auto tuning without spaces auto tuning level equals normal right now I'm trying to type just using one hand sorry and click on enter and okay you guys will get this error right here if you guys did not run cmd as administrator so let us try to do that again <laughs> i'm sorry about that just type in cmd right click on it and click on run as administrator now we have it running as administrator let's try to type that again netchint tcp show global Click on enter, netch, int, tcp, set global, auto tuning level, equals normal. 
click on enter and it will say an OK now type in another command also follow netch int tcp set global chimney equals enabled next up type in netch int tcp set global congestion provider equals ctct click on enter whoops I think I have typed in the wrong command I'm sorry about that let's try that again Okay guys, if you guys are having this kind of problem like me, just like this congestion provider currently has an error. Currently this has got removed on Windows 8 and now I believe this has also been removed on Windows 10. But I'm pretty sure this will currently work for Windows 7 and below. So just keep in mind for the congestion provider currently you for people that are using Windows 8 and Windows 10 you guys will have this sort of error but do not worry that is no problem we can still continue so now we guys can now type in netch int tcp and type in show currently I do not know how to pronounce this but it spelled as heuristics sorry if I'm wrong show heuristics and currently keep this as disabled if this is enabled you you have to keep this window scaling heuristics disabled for that you guys need to type in netch interface TCP set heuristics I believe I've spelled that wrong sorry heuristics disabled and that should work click on enter and it will say an ok ok you guys can now close the command prompt and another thing that you guys can do go to your start button and search for a control panel open up control panel go to network and internet network sharing center and click on change adapter settings here on the left side and just choose the network that you are using here's mine just right click on it and click on properties and just wait and go to internet protocol version 4 double click on that and usually this is set as ob obtained DNS server address automatically now you guys need to check on use the following DNS server addresses now Currently, this is what I've been using, so I'm just gonna share it to you. Type in 208.67.222.222, and for the alternate, type in 
220 and 220 and just click on ok and ok to save that and now of course you guys need to restart your computer so I will cut ahead in this video once I have restarted my PC so yep I will see you guys later okay guys I am back so my PC just finished restarting so after a restart all of the settings must now have been applied so now let us check if there's a difference on our internet speed so let's go back to speeddesk.net and let us see if our internet is now faster so just click on go so we can begin the test And let's just wait. And there you go. Our ping is now lower. We have 9 ping. And let's see our download speed. There you go. We have 3.88 megabytes for our download speed and let us now wait for our upload speed. And yeah, there, that, there's our internet. Currently there's a difference currently. Now it is a bit faster. Well, currently our ping is slower and looks like uh, our download speed and upload speed currently slowed down a bit. Let us try that again, test it again, let us press go. And let's just wait. Currently by doing that, our internet should now be faster. But currently, still, of course it will still depend on your router. So if your router is still very very slow, of course, expect that your internet is also slow. There you have it, 4.31 for the download and our upload speed is currently higher than before. So as you seen in this video, it is currently now faster. I will upload somewhere here in the screen a screenshot of the test earlier so yep you guys can see our internet is now faster so yep that's pretty much it for this video so thank you very much guys for watching this video hopefully you guys have enjoyed please do leave a like and a subscribe and also please do leave a comment down there below on what other videos should I do next and also please do like my Facebook page and also follow me on my Twitter account and I will see you guys in the next video Goodbye.